vast majority of company car drivers, the BMW 3 Series is the executive saloon of choice. However, perhaps inevitably, that never waning popularity, combined with the fact that BMW always seems to be on a mission to top those sales execs charts, means that it's become an all too familiar driveway spot. And that's harming both residuals and reputations. So, in order to stop people moving away from BMW and into cars like the Audi A5 Sportback, BMW has presented the 3 Series Gran Turismo. It's kind of a mashup between a 3 Series Touring and a saloon, that because it uses a slightly longer wheelbase, it's not only taller and roomier than both of those cars, it also has a bigger boot. Sitting at the pricier end of the 3 Series range also means it should be a bit more exclusive. It's an interesting but equally pretty confusing proposition. For example, you get these beautiful frameless doors and an active spoiler, which kind of gives you a hint at a sports coupe. You then also got a semi-commanding driving position, which is what people in 4x4s love so much. But then that's also combined with a really practical hatchback tailgate that almost feels a little bit incongruous with the premium positioning. We are gonna need a seriously long drive in this thing to figure it all out. Now we're on the road, what's apparent with the new 3 GT is that in addition to all this extra headroom and extra space overall, you also get extra weight, 70 kilograms over the equivalent 3 Series Touring, which is almost like having an extra person on board. And you do feel it, both under brakes like here, as well as going through the corners. You also lose a little bit of that finesse from the chassis because of the extra wheelbase compared to something like the 3 Series Saloon or the Touring. It just doesn't quite have that level of magic, that level of detail that you love with the traditional 3 Series. It'll still put a lot of executive saloons to bed, but it's just not quite there. Again, you can get adaptive suspension and sports steering that sharpen up the responses, but my problem with it then is that you're creeping into 5 Series territory and it won't really make that much sense. What will make sense for company car drivers, however, is this 318 diesel engine that we're testing now. It's an absolute peach. It'll cost just under £30,000, emit 119 grams per kilometre of CO2, and when it's hooked up to this manual six-speed gearbox, it just pulls in any gear, even if you've got four up. So it's a really, really solid choice. Well, this car was controversial. Check out the Fiat 500L. What a chunk. Come on, I'm in Marinello, I couldn't resist. I better stop playing around and find a motorway now because we've got Zurich to head to. Just driving through Zurich at the moment, which is, as well as being a very pretty little city, is also one of the financial heavyweights of Europe. And you can tell because this place is dripping in money. BMW's mantra for a long time has always been about the ultimate driving machine. And I think what the journey so far has taught me with this car is that I think it's more about being the ultimate all-rounder. If you were carrying loads of execs in the back or even your mother-in-law, for example, this would be the three series to go for. There's loads of space in the back, there's more emphasis on luxury and refinement, so the ride's a little bit more supple and it's just a lot more comfortable over distances such as these. Twelve hundred miles of driving and we have made it to our final destination of Luxembourg. It may only have a population of half a million people, plus it may be culturally overshadowed by its bigger neighbours in France, 
Belgium and Germany. But, and here is the big but, it has the highest GDP per capita in the world and the city of Luxembourg is not only a world UNESCO heritage site, it's been the first city to be nominated for the European Capital of Culture and won twice. And when I start thinking about those things, I think about the 3GT a little differently. Yes, in terms of the family of 3 Series, it is definitely the left field choice. And that's partly because, well, mostly because the 3 Series in standard form is so brilliant. And yes, the volumes will comparatively be smaller. But for some people, this car is really going to work.